mild temperatures here in Landover, Maryland at FedEx Field. Let's give one player each that we're looking for in this game. Not the most interesting game, maybe, but there are some intriguing matchups or possible intriguing performances from the Patriots here against the Redskins. So who's the one guy that you're really watching out for, Zach? Uh, I'm going to be watching Stephon Gilmore in this game. Gilmore against the Bills last week, he wasn't bad. He wasn't. He didn't have a, a poor game, I would say, but it wasn't as dominant as what we're, what we're used to seeing from Stephon Gilmore, which was a little bit surprising considering the, the Bills receiving core is fine. Right. It's not particularly uh, imposing. Uh, and he could have a difficult matchup this week, depending on whether Terry McLaurin plays in this game. He's listed as questionable for the Redskins. And he's a, a rookie, a third round pick out of Ohio State, who's really a, a guy that I thought the Patriots would have been interested in going into this draft. And he's been one of the, uh, I guess I could say the one of the breakout receivers of this season. Didn't play last week, but had a touchdown and 60 plus receiving yards, five plus uh, catches in each of his first three games. He's probably the Redskins' best offensive weapon uh, in a Redskins offense that isn't particularly uh, formidable, I would say. So if he plays in this game, you'll probably see Gilmore opposite him, and that's going to be a fun matchup. Yeah, Mike Reese of ESPN actually reported that the Patriots would have been interested in taking McLaurin if he had been available for them in the third round. So definitely interesting to watch him today. My guy, running back Sony Michelle for the Patriots, has not got off to a very good start to the season, averaging less than three yards per carry. Had one of his better games of the season last week, but that still isn't saying much. This is the game that if he's going to get going, it should happen today, this afternoon, because the Redskins are allowing 147.5 yards per game, 4.7 yards per carry. They're 29th in rush defense, 22nd in yards per carry. So this Redskins defense really has been very poor so far. Rex Burkhead is out of this game. So it really will probably be the Sony Michelle and James White show unless rookie Damian Harris gets some touches, which he hasn't so far this season. So like I said, I mean, this is kind of the make or break game for me, for Sony Michelle because of how bad that Washington run defense is, because of how bad he's performed. Things aren't totally going his way. The offensive line hasn't been great. They haven't been opening up a lot of space for him. But at some point, he has to create his own yards uh, on those carries. So this is, like I said, the day to do it. So I'll definitely be keeping a close eye on him. But one other guy is Josh Gordon. Josh Norman is having a bad season. So maybe the Patriots pass offense can get going as well. But let's send it back to you guys in the studio.